Last season for Alabama men's basketball was magical. You know, you can make the argument, one of the best, if not the best, Alabama basketball teams in history. You could make that argument, and you'd have legitimate backing, too. The resume more than impressive. It's actually historic. 16 regular season conference victories. That's a school record for most in an SEC season. And the Tide went on to win the SEC championship for the first time in 30 years. They advanced to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2004. And the 26 total victories, that was just one win shy of the program record set just a few years before that. So here's the roster that yielded those results, all laid out like a fraternity composite. And this is who's left. Still a good chunk of players remaining, highlighted by these two. The team's top scorer from last season, Jaden Shackelford, and top three-point shooter, Javon Quinterly. Having those two back with the leadership they provide, with the experience that they have in our program, I think was huge. I think they're, they're leading the team well, combined with Keon Ellis. When you've got really good, experienced guard play in college basketball, you, you've got a chance to win a lot of games. Hey, last season, certainly indicative of that. Possessing one of the best and deepest backcourts in the country, that was a major catalyst for the Tide's success. And a scary thought for other teams around the nation, there is potential for this backcourt to be even better. Factor in this guy, two-time Mr. Basketball in the state of Alabama, five-star recruit, one of the best players in the country coming out of high school, J.D. Davison. Add him into the equation. The thoughts of Shaq and Quinterly and JD, all on the floor, all at the same time. How in the world do you defend that? If your third best defender is gonna be on either Quinterly, Shackelford, or JD, I don't know which one they'd put your third best perimeter defender on. That's gonna be a major mismatch. A potential matchup nightmare for opposing defenses and a plausible dream scenario that may just result in another historic year for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Jonah Carr, Fox 54 Sports.